Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have something actually pretty awesome and I mean really awesome and it's a very good price which is even more awesome. So this is a 1S brushless micro and now I have been in the search of a 1S brushless micro for quite a bit and I picked up a couple and uh, the others will be upcoming in a later review but I thought this one should come out first because it's the best to be honest or the one I really love the most. So this comes in two versions, basic and standard. I got the standard version. Now the standard version is pretty awesome. I didn't really take a look at what it actually comes with, but it's basically the best micro brushless starter pack you could possibly purchase for an insane amount of price. If this was 150 bucks, $170, I would have still got it if I knew how it was. So let's get into this. It comes bind and fly. So it comes for fly sky and FR sky. Now something just very important before I move on, the FR sky version will not bind to the EU firmware uh, transmitters. So take that into consideration when purchasing this because it took me five hours. Well, not five hours, but it took me a while to figure it out because I didn't read the documentation. So here's the guy of all of its glory, but let's take a look at what it comes with. They actually give you three high volt 1S LiPo batteries and they're pretty damn good. I can tell you that right now. They give you uh, the tools here, extra rubber band, some props and a prop remover. The best part of all what really just like slapped me in the face because I was just so amazed was this thing. This thing is awesome. I don't know if you've seen the mailbag time, but this thing is just absolutely insane. So it takes a 12 to well, 7 to 25 volt input whether it's you know like a 12 volt kind of wall adapter or a battery and here it gives you an output if you want to charge your phone also so what can this do this can charge two types of batteries 1s obviously so you could charge high volt and um, regular lipos and you could also choose the current between 200 milliwatts and 600 milliwatts which is pretty awesome and you have these little um, what are they called? They're these little switches that you get to choose what you really want. So hopefully, let's do that right there. So each of them can charge either 200 milliamps or 600 milliamps, each one. And there's six in total here. And the, the display here is pretty awesome. I'll show you right now. So yeah, 200 milliamps and 600 milliamps. I just stick them always on 600 milliamps. It, it, that's not much. So they should be able to charge very fast that way. Charges in you know twice the speed. So it'll charge in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you're done here. And if you had to choose between a regular LiPo and a high volt LiPo, you would switch this switch here. So 4.2 volts is normal. High volt is 4.35. So you would just put this down if you wanted a normal LiPo charged here. And you get two types of connectors for each. And these are six which is by itself just awesome as hell, to be honest. Like, I really, really, really love this. Now, that's not even the best part. Here's the best part of all. For a 1S brushless micro, this one is pretty unique and I really like for a couple reasons. Uh, I do have a couple other ones, but most of them come plastic. Or at least even the pop prop guards come plastic. But if we take a look here, it's a carbon fiber mesh sort of network going on here it's super light it's 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 very rigid like like very rigid which i really like usually sometimes if you over tighten a battery on one of these you'll have it like have it just kind of bent over but you're not gonna have it on this one that's for sure and you got your port down here and overall you know it's just um it just looks beautiful and this is actually aluminum believe it or not this is i don't there's no way i don't think this is plastic at all this is aluminum so this thing is going to take a beating and uh, it does have nice dampening going on. I didn't have any jello effects I, and the batteries, you know, I was really surprised about how good the batteries were because I have, the, I got some other ones and I was using the other H volt, high volt LiPo batteries that I was using. They were pretty insane. I, I, I really am in love with this. Like, like no joke. I don't know if you could tell, um, but this is just, wow. I th it's a hundred bucks. I've seen plastic ones for 120 bucks that don't even come with half of these things. And this here, this oh, this this is just awesome. Let me give you an example here. You can go ahead and set up your electric Siggy lighter, you know, just buy whatever one, and make an XT60 connector. Stick it in there, stick it in this guy, and keep charging your batteries. And let's just say you have a Fly Sky transmitter, like Trinity Evolution, obviously. Stick the USB here and charge him also. This is like the ultimate micro brushless portable pack ever and not, not just the fact that they give you three of these 
They give you everything you need here. And um, I think this is an absolutely great deal. I haven't, you know, finally, good things are finally starting to come out. Because I, to be honest, I've been getting sick of this. I've been just here like, yeah, okay, here's this. It's all right, you know. It's, it didn't test that bad. It's average. But finally, you know, the DYS, you know, was a huge letting out. I, I, you know, I even tried to bind this one. This is from the DYS Shark. That, that's how much I loved it. I wanted these two together. Can you imagine? You get these. And then you charge with you charge everything through your car. Look at this, that's just awesome. Basically, the USB would charge the controller here, which is through there. And you just make an adapter from your car's cigarette lighter to this. Oh my God, you're gonna have so much fun! You go fly anywhere. And this is a toy. No one's gonna give you shit about this for flying this. So you know this would be like the ultimate ultimate portable pack ever. Uh, but maybe we can flash the firmware. I'm actually gonna contact DYS see if we can I can reflash this. Maybe because I'm in Europe. Some of you who probably ordered in the US could probably just get it to bind perfect. Uh, it does take D6, D8, and D16 protocol, and it's uh the the receiver is inbuilt into the uh, flight controller itself, so it's running through the SPI. So you're not gonna have to play with UARTs, and it's very well documented here. If you could tell, if, let's just see if we could uh, zoom in here. It shows you what to change. If you want to use D6, see, see right here. Usually here we would put uh, serial-based RX, but here you put SPI RX support. It's already enabled for you. So if you're going to bind in D16, you have to change that to FR Sky X. It'll open a second tab after. Obviously, you're not going to have these two. You'll either see this or this. So you'll drop this, and then you can see D. So if you put D, that's for D8. If you put X, that's for D16. Fly Sky is just basically just straightforward. Fly Sky, Fly Sky, you're good to go. I don't know if they actually put... No, this is because this is the uh, FR Sky version. So overall build construction, build quality. Uh, camera is somewhat lacking, but I'm not expecting much. It's a pretty tiny camera. Um, it felt a little bit hazy. Maybe I could probably, you know, it's probably maybe just, uh, what is it? Focused in. It's not a super great quality camera. It's not a piece of crap quality camera like I've had before. Um, it's something that I you could totally that could totally fly. It's just average, it's like my Foxer X A T six hundred. Just you know, it's just decent. Low light conditions. I haven't really done that. That's why I'm gonna be. I have a new place to test these. It's gonna be so awesome. Uh, I'll probably be going there tomorrow. So that's gonna be pretty cool. But overall, if you were thinking of getting this or you have one on your way. I'm telling you, you're going to have the biggest smile on your face ever. Um, and, well, that's it, guys. So, I will be taking this out for a flight later on. I'm actually going to do a comparison. I'm just going to just show you this product because some people just want to see what it comes with. Overall, you could take from my word right now that it flew pretty good. I really did enjoy it. I didn't have to fight it much. I didn't fly it outside, but outside, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fight it. These, these do not really tend to fly good outside. Uh, but I could be totally wrong, but I haven't tested, so I can't really say that. But indoors, I had a blast. Um, I was just usually doing uh, a little, I did a little bit of acro, but currently the current space I have wasn't really that good for acro, but, um, I, I, this is, this is just awesome. It really is awesome. I'm very happy I got it. Uh, that, that's it. You know, that, that's one of those things. So yeah, well, that's going to include it for this video, guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be doing a shootout for one S brushless micros. Once I release the other reviews, I'm going to go take them out and then just fly them all and tell you how they feel in the air and which one had to fight more, which one was a little bit more stable, which felt more efficient, which had some weird jitters in it, if any of them did. And uh, well, it'll be that type of review. Hopefully it'll be good. Be just very summarized in short and straight to the point with no extra time taken and well that's it guys and another thing i know some of you probably know this some of you probably don't i did release the android application ios application will be released in, in about two weeks i'm currently waiting for my do I, it's finished now i'm just waiting for the uh developer account uh process to be approved so i could upload the ios application and i do have the website and there's something super crazy cool about this now. Now, I do sell most of my things for absolutely cheap. That's one thing. It's going to be a place to get news pre-released from manufacturers. I'm currently talking to manufacturers like Sunny Sky and all those, you know, Maytech and everybody to give me news on the release. Go, They're going or working on prototype of releasing products. So that's going to be there. I'm also adding a uh, talk to GearBest and Banggood. I'm trying to talk to get FPV to give us special coupons and special deals, 24 hour sales, which will also be, you know, notified through the application or the newsletter through the website. So if you don't, you know, if you have iOS, just use the website, use the newsletter for now until I release the iOS, you get notifications. It'll tell you, you know, 24 hour sale currently on Banggood. 
uh, and it'll take you to a page in my uh, on the application. You can see the current sales, uh, 24 hours left, you know, seven days left. Uh, like for example, the Emacs Baby Hawk R was on sale the other day, um, and uh, soon in, uh, the currently GearBest and Banggood will start. Hopefully, well, they are going to be giving me special coupons for uh, the users of the application and the website's newsletters, so you can get some awesome deals. And uh, don't miss out because they usually put these stuff in limited quantities also. At the same time, you could buy a drone mesh split site. I'll have that review coming up very soon. It'll be shipped very soon. And um, yeah, and I think that's it, guys. So that all supports the channel and it's all back to the community. And um, I've also talked with Maytech. I'm, I'm going to be doing some kind of a awesome sale from Maytech. It's actually 10 to 50 boards, brand new Maytech F405 for cheaper than anyone online. Uh, brand new board straight from Maytech, like absolutely brand new clothes. So that's also going to be pretty interesting. I'm also working with other companies to try to do that also. Uh, and it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, just don't miss out because it's limited quantities right now because it's very small. It's very difficult. And uh, as time goes on, as we get more traffic and as we get more users, uh, it'll be some even bigger sales and bigger, awesomer stuff. So it's kind of like a community driven project where we could just try I try to make everyone benefit really I try to make it a win-win situation for everyone um I, I just want to get you the best price the best deals and um and, and yeah and you can also check my reviews there I'll be adding the the, the review part of the application it's basically you could go ahead and see what are the top four reviews or top four ESCs for example right now and these kinds of things it's, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool it's pretty interesting that's that's what it has right now so go ahead and check it out I'll update it every day to two days uh, today I just finished updating a couple info on there and it's just going to keep evolving as time goes on and just keep monitoring that newsletter and the application notifications and the pages within and uh, hopefully you won't miss out on any good sales and I will have some awesome new sale I'm selling some of my stuff for absolutely cheap maybe some of the new sky zone goggles I'm actually thinking of selling those and a couple pre-built quads that I've done in the past that I'm not even flying and they're just absolutely insane it like for super cheap like maybe 100 200 bucks and it's worth like 500 dollars. so yeah i'll be doing that also so yeah i'll leave a link to everything down below you can also use the affiliate links down below those greatly support the channel those keep the channel going and please consider joining my patreon i do a ton of giveaways uh this month i'm going to be giving micro quadcopters some bomb some very good escs some flight controllers so i do up to three to four giveaways on patreon every month uh, and your, your chances of winning are very high because I don't have many uh, uh, Patreons. So it's a win-win situation for everyone and it helps keep this channel going. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the content. We're going to have more ESC and flight controller testing very soon on the channel. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.